So today I'd like to show you how to strip wire and also show you the various kinds of tools that you can use for this purpose. Now wire stripping is necessary to remove the insulation like this off of any wire leads. This is speaker wire for example and you need to remove that insulation so you can get exposure to the wire when you want to put it on a device or solder it to something like a circuit board or crimp some ring terminals onto it. So we're going to show how to do this and also again the various tools. And wire comes in different sizes. They call them gauges. So you have like this is an 18 gauge wire here. This wire down below which is larger in diameter is a 10 gauge. And the larger the gauge of wire, the more current that wire can carry through it. So if I was to use this wire and something versus that, well then I would need to make sure that the current load of that device doesn't exceed what this wire can carry through it because otherwise the wire will heat up and can potentially cause a fire. So that's why you got to make sure you use the appropriate gauge wire for whatever you're powering with this. So again, let's show wires. Now there's various kinds of tools. I'm going to start with the lowest one here. This is your very basic style wire stripper. Comes in most uh, hardware, inexpensive hardware sets. And it's also the cheapest tool you can find. And essentially, all you do is loosen up this screw here and move it up and down to adjust the spring here to set it to what kind of wire you're going to strip. Because you need to set your tool, unless it's an automatic one, which we'll get into later, so it can strip the wire correctly. Now, I'm not sure if this one is set correctly for this 18 gauge wire, but we will see if it works here. Put the tool over the wire. And what we're going to do while we're holding it is we're going to pull on the other end of this wire and then try to, until it strips off. Sometimes you have to turn it to get it to break that insulation. Sometimes it'll come right off. I don't think this is going to strip this. Nope. Well, it kind of did. Just a little bit. Again, it was stretching the insulation out, so it wasn't doing too good of a job. Because huh? again, this is your basic wire stripper, but unless you really get it set up correctly, this is not going to do as good of a job as some of the more expensive strippers. So we'll move on to those. Now this is your most common stripper that you find in maybe a lot of your crimp connector sets if you're doing wire crimping. And this one has preset holes already cut into it for different size wire all the way from 10 gauge down to 20 and 22 gauge. So again we have our 18 gauge speaker wire here and I'm going to find the 18 gauge hole which is right here I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to strip off of this one now that one stripped the wire a lot better again because it's already got a hole cut for that size wire so it strips a lot better but again I had to do the stripping with some manual labor there, actually pulling on the wire to get it to strip. Now this particular kind of stripper has other options on it. It has points on the top for crimping connectors on different wire sizes. There's bolt cutters cut into it and it's also got a pair of built-in wire cutters. So you can cut the wire without having to use a separate pair of wire cutters down here. Now, Another type of wire stripper that I don't have here is the first type of the automatic style and they kind of have a pistol grip action and usually they're colored red and they have an adjustment knob on the back to adjust the jaws for the gauge wire that you're using. Basically the jaws just close and then they pull back with the uh, pistol grip action. So that's the first type of the automatic style but I don't have one of those here. The automatic one I do have is basically the best kind of the automatic styles. This is an automatic self-adjusting wire stripper. Now what that does means, it will 
strip the wire for you, but it will also automatically adjust to whatever gauge wire you're using without having to adjust it. The way this works is there's a set of cams. As you pull, this first cam holds the wire in place and it automatically adjusts to whatever diameter wire there is. The second jaw here is the part that actually does the stripping and it pulls away. And there is a length adjustment here. You can push this in or out and look at the metered markings. This will let you set it up for how much of the wire you want to strip off, whether you want maybe a quarter inch or a full half inch of that wire stripped off, depending on what you're using it for. And you would just squeeze and pull away. Now, this one will effectively do 10 gauge wire. Now, I'm going to use the wire cutter that's on here. You always want to cut off the wire you don't need. And I'm not going to bother with the setting adjustment. I'm just going to stick the wire in here up to the stop point. Get it locked and then pull. And there you go. Strip that very easily. And again, this is the one back one. This is made by Irwin Tools. It's about a $20 wire stripper. But this one makes it very easy to strip any size wire without having to pull on it or anything like that. Now, the other methods, if you don't have a wire stripper or if you've got a situation where they may not work for you, you might just use a basic hobby knife, like an X-Acto knife, like this one here. And you may need something like this if you need to strip the insulation off of a wire where the insulation is soft due to something like age. So if your wire stripper is just pulling or stretching the insulation out, you'll have to use a hobby knife. Basically, you would just cut along the insulation and then peel it back and then cut it off. That's how you would do that. And again, that's a pretty just quick video here. All about doing wire stripping for electrical work.